Hello, welcome to another FFT Arena matchup here. Um, and I'm sure I did not mention this in the first two matches. I'm doing a little bit of a round robin, so everyone's going to get a little bit of time to shine. Um, this is going to be Zerdus, um Shadow Dragons, I'm sorry, um, team known as Darkness Rises, and on bottom, Ottavo's team, Deep is a No Double Trouble. I'm going to run down the teams very quick so the introduction won't be too long. Spectre the Lancer, Gash the Wizard, Shade the Scholar, and Shao the Scholar. This one is a Dark Absorbed team. Lance and item bots to bring these two scholars back up. Um, Wizard uses Odin, magic attack up. I may say MP up. She is, well, she's undead just like this Lance. So they're both at equally nine speed, so they can be moving together. And these two scholars just simply just hang back and uh, do Shao Shade over and over. They also have Bile just in case um, anyone on the opposite side absorbs dark. And a quick tip. Um, while you still have bio, which is very good, you could have also used uh, sinkhole to stop the, the um, cance uh, canceling the charge and performing. Plus, you have uh, free JP left over, so I just want to throw that out there. Audible's team: Gilbert the Ninja, Carl the Monk, Sabrina the Dancer, and Seraphina the Monk. <coughs> this team consists of un undeads and immortals, and I'm going to run through this quick as well. Uh, Ninja that capitalizes on oil procs with the Iga knife that can has its elemental of wind so it'll do double the damage has meat bone slash in case anyone tries to put him in critical up close and he can do 616 damage in total undead so he can come right back up he has quickening and steel heart and steel accessory this monk also has quickening steel heart as well uh undead pa save flees that way he runs off and does a little chakra action um and very hard hit with martial arts 16 pa um do we have two dancers here they're both immortal one has slow dance, the other one has uh, last dance. This one has summon magic, so it can restore MP with carbuncle, and this one can also restore MP with chakra. And they both have uh, either Genji armor or iron boots, respectively. And they both carry auto potions, so they can remain alive and well. Alright, now we're going to be going to map 67, which is North Wall of Bethel Garrison for our first round matchup. I had to quicken the introductions because of. Um, extra matches that was requested and since I do want to um do a couple matches that feature the same team but facing different opponents that already fought once before I figured a little round robin action would be nice so anyways Audubo is in the white and Shadow Dragon's in the black as both melee units for Audubo go for quickening Lancer, undead Lancer chucks a high potion at the undead ninja Haste 2 from one of the Scholars, as the other Scholar goes for a Bio. As I said before, a good way to counter against uh, Undead Units. Haste 2 only gets 3 people, which is pretty nice. Ninja uh, quickens himself and then runs off again. Carl the Monk will go for a Wave Fist. 219 damage, nearly KOs her. Uh, the Wizard is going to be looking for Moogle here. Lancer pokes for nice... PA save, and down goes the Undead Monk, Moogle. He went up both the Scholars for an impressive amount, actually. I would have thought Moogle would be a bit of a hindrance, but I guess that can work too in case you don't want to use um, Shadow Shade for healing. So, alright. Good stuff. Alright, so, Audible's, team, Audible's dancers are now being targeted for um, AoE damage. As Ninja goes down to a high potion from the Lancer, no auto potion go go off, so this could be a bit of a problem for Audubo here. Ooh, last dance hits two people, which is nice. Demi two, good, very good, very good method to take out tanky units because it is percentage based, not um, MA based. So look at the Shadow Dragon is gonna be taking round one here, unless Ninja can get back up in time. And the monk, for that matter, but it doesn't look like that way right now. Although chakra, I don't think it's gonna be enough. Let's see, hasted lancer goes for a jump, and it's gonna get it. I think Carl gets right back up though, and spin fist hitting three people. Let's see, when the ninja get back up, here comes Odin. Double kill right there. Gilbert gets right back up. And has plenty of HP to boot. Let's see, what can Gas do? Can Gas take out that wizard? Uh, that ninja, rather? I think she will. And she 
does with fire. Let's see, will the monk be going down next? Um, he's gonna go for a wave fist and gets it. Drops one of the scholars. So Adabo's monk trying to make a comeback here, and a little bit of an error on that Lancer's part, jumping up at a tile where um he cannot throw a phoenix down. But that doesn't matter because oh, doesn't Shadow Dragon? I thought it was gonna take round one, but not yet, I guess. Let's see, fire, double kill, and yep, that's it. Ottawa loses, and uh, Zer uh, not Zerdas, Shadow Dragon. I'm getting the two mixed up. Takes round one. We'll see what happens in round two. And we are now set for round two as we are now on map nine, Citadel of Egros Castle. Uh, last match, Audubo pretty much got overwhelmed, you can almost say, because of the uh, wizard and the constant um, shadow shading from the scholars there. And the Lance is going to nail a pretty powerful jump right here. And we're going to see if Audubo can somehow recover from this because it seems like that right now. Audubon's team is just playing a setup men uh, for the Lancer and the Wizard. Oh, there's a double block there. Oh, probably because of, um... Oh, I know why. That skull is floating, so that means technically it's Earth Elemental. And that skull can just block it with float. Well, both scholars can, so... Ouch. Floats a very hard counter to Earth. <coughs> MP Restore goes off after a wave fist. That was actually really clever. I don't think I, I, I don't think that um any of us might have expected that to go off like that, but it is where it is, I suppose. The pain fist. And Shade's going to be looking for, uh, looks to be more, uh, Time Magic here, I think. Oh, it's Demi-2, yep. I knew it was Time Magic. Double Demi-2. The Dancer's doing everything she can with Slow Dance, and likewise the Monk's trying to do everything she can with Last Dance, but is it going to be enough, though? That's the question. Wave Fist for only 177. And a sword whack from the monk. Not exactly ideal. Yeah, the problem with these don't move teams is um when they can't show good offense and keep themselves health healthy at the same time. Ah, steel accessory. So there goes the curse ring. That means when that lancer goes down, unless he gets revived, he goes down down for good. I mean, yeah, morals do get right back up, but. It's not gonna matter if you gotta constantly hit everything across the board with your, um, with your lures here. Spectra is gonna go for another jump. It's not gonna hit as hard though. However, it's gonna get comboed with the wizard's ice spell. And a proc slow. Oh, I'm sorry, they, that jump was aimed for the dancer, not the monk. And repeating fist actually does take out the lancer, so okay. If the ninja can simply get right back up, then, um, Audible might have a fighting chance here. The wizard's not to off go after, uh, the monk. Uh, the male monk. And of course, Gilbert gets up and goes for a quickening. Let's see, slow does wear off. Carl's gonna look for Steel Heart to cancel that. Nice. Audible desperately needed that charm. And it worked out quite nicely. Now while Charm is still inflicted, these guys can just... Oh, steal accessory. Now the wizard's no longer cursed. It just... I just find it funny that the undead ninja just... freed the lancer and the wizard from eternal suffering. And now they may rest in peace. It's like that ninja's an exorcist or something. You know what I mean? Okay. <laughs> Alright, enough. Alright, that's uh, quite a pun I just did. So, Audible looks to be capitalized and it might be taking round two. 
Steel accessory definitely helps. Now they get now out of both teams can just simply bow speed. And that ninja's gonna be double turning people right now. And we're gonna see. Oh, okay. I thought that um being earth elemental um was going to cancel off flow. I guess not. Maybe it was just a double block. Strange. Well then, guess we're going to round three. Round three is about to begin. We are now on map 34. The, the seller of Sand Mouse. Audible was able to tie up round two. Due to the units being able to actually catch up to, um... Um, to Shadow Dragon's units in time. And he had a little help from Charm as well. Um, and I do also, also want to apologize for my, um, error. It was, the Igonite actually is Wind Elemental, but it strengthens Earth. So, I double checked, um, the weapon to make sure I wasn't mistaken. I, apparently I was. Because in the first attempt from the ninja to take out one of the skull, both shots were blocked. And I thought that the Iga knife was actually the Earth Elemental one. I had it backwards. That was the Koga knife that was Earth Elemental. So, apologies there. It was just a little bit bad luck on the ninja's part. Okay, so the monk got poisoned thanks to Bio. And does not go down to the high potion, but he will go down... To the poison and oil and yep oil and then the egg and knife combination takes out one of the scholars that's the type of offense that audible is looking for here out of this ninja and the monk does finally go down now it's gonna be interesting to see if um see the ninja is gonna get um yep ninja's gonna take out the scholar moogle but it's for naught because that scholar is dead. Well, one of the scholars. Uh, Gilbert's gonna run forward and, and inflict another charm under the wizard. It works for him in round two. Well, it worked for him in round three, though. We'll find out right now. As this wizard is gonna be looking for, I think, some type of summon magic on it. Oh, ice, actually. Oh, to hit herself out of charm. And to, um,. Yeah, do damage to the Scholar. However, they allowed Audible's Ninja to capitalize. Despite Charm being broken and Shadow Shade for healing, Audible's Ninja was able to capitalize on that. And take out one of the other Scholars. Last Dan uh, Slow Dance actually hits everyone. And Last Dance hit three out of four people. That was rare. That was very rare for that to happen. Monk gets back up, but not for a lot of HP. And he chakras himself. <laughs> Um, Shadow Dragon is still in, in stuck sandbagging, I'll say that. Last Dance hits once again, and as it does wear off, and Gilbert will go after the wizard. Fails to charm, though. Monk will go for Wave Fist, and he's near dead due to the poison. Lancer will proceed to kill him, though. Let's see, can this ninja actually capitalize or redirect? He's gonna move slightly out of the way from that uh, fire spell I think that wizard got set up. Oh, it's Odin actually. Oh, double kill off Odin. But the dancer and the monk were at. Oh, that second shot got blocked. We're at less than, less than full strength anyway, so. Good thing. Alright, Phoenix down. Gas will rush forward. He's gonna go for more spells. Trying to keep the dancer and the female monk at bay. The ninja, in the meanwhile, is trying to buy, buy his team some time so he can recover. Gilbert is so fast, though. It's, it has to be due to those quickenings. That could be what Audible needs here to pick up the victory, though. And the wizard is just wasting time going after the immortals. Carl gets right back up and tries to assist the ninja, but fails. Oh my god. Super Magic to actually get rid of the poison, which is actually preferred. And once again, the morals are back under their feet. Ellen's going to be going for a pretty nasty jump, though. Gilbert will go after Gas the Wizard. Will it kill her? Nope. It's going to trigger MA save. And 
And repeat fist gets the job done. I don't think that Lancer can hold off on Autobo's units all by himself. So I think Autobo's finally going to going to obtain victory here. No oil proc. However, the Lancer is not down. Wow. Slow dance hitting everyone again. Like, that's rather impressive. And I and I would dare argue that it's because of slow dance hitting. Audible's been given the the decisive speed advantage here. Because that Lance was not able to get a turn in time to resurrect one of the scholars, and as a result. She gets crystallized. And the ninja wisely snags that crystal before the skull can get a chance to. And good job, Audible. You take this one. That was a good fight. GG.